Hello, everyone. This is your Sunday evening KRQE.com webcast. Here's Ian Schwartz with a quick look at your forecast. The warm-up is going to continue, Dean, as we get into Monday and Tuesday, especially in the southeastern part of the state. We'll add about 5 degrees here in Albuquerque. Breezy conditions for the northeast for Monday. As we get going into Tuesday, though, we're going to increase our winds statewide, and that's going to be ahead of a system that's pulling off of the Pacific coast. It'll bring windy conditions Tuesday, and then Wednesday into Thursday, we're going to increase our snow chances, mainly in the northern part of the state. We do have a slight chance for snow and rain in Albuquerque. If we're going to see snow, it'll be late Wednesday into early Thursday, but we're not looking at a great chance, about a 20% chance, but count on cooler temperatures as we will quickly slip back into the low 50s. All right, Ian, thank you. The search for four-year-old Samuel Jones reported missing last night became a recovery mission this morning. Carlsbad police believe they found the child's body at the bottom of a very deep hole in his neighbor's backyard. That hole was found by an officer around 7 this morning. It is just to the east of Jones's home in his neighbor's backyard. Police say it's about 14 inches wide and at least 30 feet deep. Officials on scene said it appears the hole may have been a water well at one point. Investigators lowered a camera down into the hole, and that's how they were able to confirm there is a small child inside. We initially began with uh, rescue procedures. Unfortunately, um, it was discovered that the conditions inside the hole were not survivable. The amount of oxygen that was there, the temperature, that type of thing. Police say the excavating process is very delicate, that there are at least two natural gas lines and a utility line in that area. So, depending on conditions, they told us it could take hours or possibly until morning to recover the body. That investigation is being treated as a homicide until police can determine the cause of death. A Santa Fe mother is in jail tonight, charged with slitting the throats of her two children. 39-year-old Sherry Resser is charged with attempted murder, child abuse, and tampering with evidence. Police say the two boys, ages 8 and 6, were treated at Christus St. Vincent Regional Medical Center with non-life-threatening injuries. Resser drove the boys to the hospital. Police say she told them a family friend caused the wounds. But after police interviewed the boys, Resser admitted to slitting their throats. Resser remains jailed. They, the boys are in CYFD custody. Police say they found the weapon used in the crime at the hospital. Be sure and stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates. I'm Dean Staley. Thanks for logging on.